What's going on guys? Thanks so much for stopping back by my channel. My name is Destiny and today I'm going to be doing probably maybe several parts of a video or I don't know, you might see a lot of clips, but this is a micro bell I purchased from America's Thrift Supply and um, I purchased, sorry I'm out of breath, I just moved all the dresses over here. As you can see this chair is full and then this box is full. It was a hundred pounds of dresses for $146 so <clears throat> I have not counted but there's probably at least 200 dresses here um, I'm gonna switch the camera around so I can kind of talk to you about what I'm gonna do with these I hope to anyway so like I said this box is pretty full and then the, my whole chair is covered with dresses um my plan is to go through I've already looked through all of them there's nothing really special in here the best thing is probably a Torah dress so I will go through these today or start going through them show you all like here's one that says Audi um show you all what I plan to list what I'm gonna send into thread up I have some partner kits with them and then um obviously show you I won't show you everything here's a J Crew mercantile that was one of the better things obviously I won't show you everything I'm gonna donate I'll just show you a picture and maybe tell you how many um how many dresses I'm having to donate in a roundabout way. Um, anyway, like I said, there's some really cute styles in here. There's no exciting name brands other than, like I said, the Torah dress, but there are some really cute dresses. Like, I think this is a loft dress. Yeah, it's a loft size two, but it's really cute with like, you know, this eyelet print. I don't know if I would recommend this video, or video, I hope you watched the video. Uh, this micro bail to people but um we'll see how it goes never heard of this brand but it is 100 percent silk and this camera work i know is great i'll do better in the rest of the video but it is a maxi dress that is really cute and like red polka dots and stuff i'm gonna list as many as i can um i need the inventory anyway so like this right here this is a uh, like a shirt dress denim shirt dress and it's cute it has pockets but it has no name brand it's just a size medium so that's what i'll send in to thread up stuff like that i did see a couple already that have maybe some stains or something so um let me know if you guys enjoy this kind of video and this is going to be just the part of me showing you like what i'm starting with today i'm hoping to go through and maybe get through like 20 to 30 dresses gone through listed if I want to list them or I have a box over here that is going to be for thread up and then I have a box over there over that way I'm not going to show you again all my laundry that will be to donate so this is part one of who knows how many of clips you're going to see in this video okay guys I am cooking dinner right now we're having some stir fry I got to go through some of the dresses um before I had to come start so I pulled six to donate just because of condition or brand or lack of brand and I didn't think thread up would take it so mostly condition um, I pulled maybe 15 for thread up started the box for that and I've pulled 20 to 30 for me to list I'll put a number on the screen of how many I pulled the list I realized I don't have a steamer well I already knew I didn't have a steamer but um, in this micro bale it's kind of a thing that these are super wrinkly, but I realized my dryer has a wrinkle release setting and I put some in and they came out looking really good. So those should be pretty easy to photograph as well. Hoping to knock that out tonight after I jog with my mom and everything. So hopefully we can get some of those dresses listed. I have to make back a, about, or I think I said at the beginning, $146 and change. I'm just gonna call it $147. I'm expecting to list most of these dresses between 15 to 25 and I have posture VA so every dress will you know get offered sent out to likers of 20% off with discounted shipping so hoping to make some profit per dress but we'll see how this goes and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Hey guys I'm just gonna pop on with another update to my America's Thrift Supply store, whatever video I'm working on. I just photographed 15 dresses. I found flaw on a couple of them. A couple I'm gonna oxy soak, see if that helps. Um, I'm starting a list, 
So I took photographs of 15. I have picked out seven items to donate. And then I have a thread up box started that I'll count how many items are in that box once I get it full. Cause I think I'm gonna add some other things to it and then we'll break down how much money we get from that also. And I'm gonna show you, I got this really cute top and I'm really disappointed about it. So I got this top, which there was supposed to be dresses, but it's okay. This top is so cute. It's got little daisies, got this little mock neck keyhole. It's not really a, a brand I know. It's called Scoop and it's a size extra small. And I'm like, oh, look at the little sleeves. Yeah. Then I turn it around to photograph the back. How did I miss this? The sleeve is totally cut as is this one. I'm guessing maybe it was too tight on somebody's arm and they just cut it off, but so yeah, this is going in the donate. Maybe somebody can fix it or just wear it as is, but I just wanted to give you guys an update. I don't know how many little clips will be in this video, but um, I'm hoping to get some of this listed so I can give you guys a better idea of how it's going. So see you next time. Hey guys, it's, I don't know, like a couple weeks later, maybe. I don't remember what day I started filming this on. Uh, this is going to be the last bit of part one of my America's Thrift Supply. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I've listed. That way um, you can see I listed 32, 33 pieces. Um, none have sold yet, so that's encouraging. And I sent in my thread up box. They took 26 items. Oh, I just lied because I said this was going to be the last part. The last part will be when ThreadUp accepts that box because it has expedited processing and it's in Nashville today. It's going to Georgia. So hopefully in a couple days, I'll know how much Crocs credit I'm going to get with the um, partner kits. Now they are changing this, but with the partner kits right now, if you send them in, they go ahead and pay you whatever you're going to get up front. You don't get to pick the prices of the items. You don't get to get the items back, but you get an immediate payout. So I didn't mind sending in these dresses and some other items from here. And um, I'm going to wait until I get that in to publish this video. I sent in 26 dresses, so we'll see how that does. I'm going to show you guys now the 30-ish that I've listed so you can get an idea of what I got. The first one is really cute. It's by J. Jill, size extra small. I did have to soak this in OxyClean. It's a really cute like jersey knit dress. The problem was it has a small, well now it's a small, I washed it twice and oxy cleaned it, but there's just a little stain right here and it was actually on the inside. So I don't know what happened, but anyway, this one was actually, comps were a little better than I thought. So maybe 25 for this one. I also oxy cleaned this one. This was loft. I showed this in the first clip, size two. It actually had a little stain when I went to list it the first time. So it's clean now. Just a really cute eyelet dress. I think I listed that one for 25, but I'm hoping for anything north of like 15. The armpit looks a little dark right here, but I don't think it's stained. I think it's just the light in here, which is not great at the moment. It's raining outside. Um, this one I have pictures of on my phone, but I'm not listed. And this is the last one I think I had to OxyClean. This is also blue and gray for loft, size large. It's a really cute maxi dress, and I'm pretty short, so I'll just have to kind of show you. It's really long, and it has slits at the side. It had some kind of food or something on it, but the OxyClean took it out. Haven't listed this one yet, but hopefully maybe at least 15 on that. The comps for this dress, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys so I can get these in my inventory. I've been keeping them separate in a box. This was the silk dress. It's, I think, vintage. It's called Stephanie Charles. It's a really cute polka dot, like, maxi dress. I think it looks like rockabilly or retro, but comps weren't great on this. I think I might have listed it for 20 There were some listed, and all were listed around that $20 mark. This is from Walmart Time and True, size medium. I've sold this same dress a few times before. My sister had some, and they sold pretty quick for me, just for like 10, 8 to 10. It already has a few likes on Mercari, so maybe that'll be the first one to sell. If any of them sell, I'll put on the screen if they sell in the next couple days before I find out about thread up. This is No Boundaries, size large. Just sold at Walmart, but I thought it was a cute tank dress. 
graphics and since ThreadUp doesn't accept I don't think Walmart brands or Target brands if I liked it I just went ahead and listed it this brand was a little better than I thought I think it's a boutique it's called Cory America size medium this is a linen dress hence all the wrinkles it's like 55% linen a button front purple dress Here is the Torrid dress I was talking about. I had to wash it, but it came out clean. Torrid size 16. So I think this is older because it doesn't have their vanity sizing they usually use. Um, it's got this lace top with a sweetheart neckline. And I did I did have the wrinkles out of this when I listed it, but it's been in this box. An A-line skirt. So that's really cute. This is from Miami, which is sold at like Francesca's. It's a size medium. It's a little, it's kind of got some pleats right here. Kind of a mini dress with a mock neck. This brand I didn't realize was all right. Um, it's called Nick and Zoe. I guess they sell it at Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack, size medium. It's like a heavy knit dress. I guess I got this confused with Rachel and Zoe or something. So this is like the better Zoe, whatever it is. I don't think those brands are associated with each other. But anyway, this is a cute dress. I'm going to see how many times I can say cute in this video. This is Monteau, which I see at TJ Maxx. I don't know where it's really sold. Size so small. It is a cold shoulder, which I know is not super popular right now. But I just thought it was a nice dress. So hopefully that'll sell. This I listed because it was a plus size or a size 16. It's by Glamour. It's a thin dress, but it's really fun. It's like off the shoulder like this. Kind of gave me Encanto vibes. <laughs> um, and it's just a maxi dress with some slit. You can't see that. Slits on the side. It's got this really fun print. Thought it might be fun for outside something or another. This is by Sunny Lee, which I'm pretty sure is from the 2000s size medium. Gave me The print gave me Y2K or 70s vibes. So I thought this was fun. I still have probably over 100 dresses in the other room, but I'm just working through this so I don't burn myself out. This is R&M Richards size 10. I think this is like a bridesmaid's dress or maybe a mother of the bride dress or something like that. It has glitter on it. I did have to wash that one. It had a little something on it, but it came off. This is Charlotte Russe, which is not worth much at all, but it's a cute little dress. Okay, I've got to stop saying cute now. It's a nice dress. This brand is interesting to me. I saw some people saying this was Anthropology. Does not have their RN number, so I did not put that in my title. It's called Potter's Pot. If you all know, you can let me know. The chevron print I know is not super popular, but the colors I thought were cool. Like a retro 70s color vibe or 60s. I don't know. Hopefully that'll do okay. The brand on this is called Zoe Beth. I've sold a denim skirt by this brand. Very Y2K vibes on that. And this one is like a deep V on the front and the back with the swirl print. A lot of these I've listed based on style or what I hope will be a style that people would want. Because brand was not really there on a lot of these. This is Forever 21. Size medium, like a three-fourth sleeve red stripe mini dress. Could be a classic staple in your closet. This is Chance and Destiny, Band of Gypsies, size small. This kind of looked like grungy to me, like if you wanted to grunge it up. It has, it does have like a cold shoulder, I guess, if, you, if that's considered. It has this and then the sleeves off the side. This kind of gave me 90s grungy vibes, so I like that. This is from Kato, which we have here, which is just kind of like a department store. Well, not really a department store, just like a, I guess, it's just a store that sells clothes. 
nothing too fancy. It does have fun sleeves and I like the paisley print. It is a cold shoulder again. I got a lot of cold shoulders in this box, probably because those weren't selling. So it has this fun paisley print and these wide bell sleeves. It's so hard to photograph those too if you don't have a mannequin, which I do, but I don't like to pull her out unless I have to. This is um, the brand called Signature by Robbie B. It's like a crisscross with this pattern and it is a maxi dress. This one does have a flaw. It has a little, not really a hole, but like a little pick right there, which I of course put in my listing. This one I like the polka dots on. It's called East Fifth and this is a petite medium. It's kind of a fun print, I thought. Like I said, some of these have likes and different things, but none of them have unfortunately sold yet as of today, which is September 12th. Jessica Howard, size six. This is a linen blend dress. I have another Jessica Howard dress listed. It is in an, a size 18. It has had a lot of likes. I think it's a cuter print too. It's yellow and looks kind of 70s-ish, but has not sold yet either, so. This is called Can't Miss, rainbow ribbed tank dress. Good old Old Navy, size medium. This is a sheath dress, it says on the tag, in this pretty green color. This one was kind of fun. Um, I don't remember the brand. Studio Eye, size 10 with this watercolor. This just screamed early 2000s to me. It's had some interest, but has not sold. I'm gonna keep saying that like you all don't know it hasn't sold yet. This is Laundry by Shelly Seagal, which can be a good brand, size medium. It's a fun dress. It's a short sleeves, kind of a mini dress. Just try to move quickly through these because there's gonna be a lot of dresses. This one's inside out. This was a better one. I didn't realize was in there. My sister did help me unbox these. So she would just kind of tell me the brand here and there. This is Casper size eight and it is new with tags and it retailed for, well, it was on sale for $79. But new with tags, halter style dress, this waist definition here. This is another Kato dress. Do, 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 do. Size large. This one's just like a stretchy dress with a handkerchief hem. Kato does not sell for much, maybe 15. This is from Primark, which I don't, I've never shopped at Primark. We don't have them here. This is a US size 14. It's a bodycon dress though. That's why I listed it because it's ribbed. And a lot of people just like to have one of those in their closet. You're almost to the bottom. This is called Rabbit Rabbit Rabbit. And this brand was also a little better than I thought. Size 8. I don't know how this dress will particularly do. Like brown. It's not really anything exciting. I guess it could work for if someone wanted it to. Like a maternity dress, the way it's cut. Give you more room with the belly someone who's had three children I am always thinking about that this is a new day from Target size 12 just a classic little black dress perfect for work or going out I don't think it was worn because it still has this on the slit this J Crew mercantile dress I listed it's a size zero and you saw at the beginning it did used to be like a t there was a tack right here to keep the V closed. I did disclose that that wasn't there, so that should be an easy fix for someone. All right, that's it. My box is empty, but I have one in my laundry pile because I had to wash it after I listed it. I realized there was some food on it. Okay, last one was this Kato dress with the polka dots. So, 
now you've seen what I've listed and I'll be back with one more clip after thread up accepts or doesn't accept those dresses. So we'll hope they accept some of them because that'll help me recoup some of my $147 and my husband needs needs a new pair of Crocs so I promised him the gift card to Crocs. So this will save me some money more or less. I'm just trading in these dresses for him a pair of Crocs and I'll see you guys. Well you'll see me in just a second but I'll see you in a few days. Bye. Hey guys, um, I'm hoping this will be the last clip for my um, America's Thrift Supply Micro Bail. <laughs> and this is going to be what ThreadUp accepted. Today is, uh, golly, September 22nd. And they did finish processing this, I think, the day before yesterday. And I just haven't had a chance to film. So I ended up getting $75 in Crocs credit. But I did send in some other items besides the dresses the uh, from the bail so i'm just going to go over what i've got from them and then how much money i made off of those items so they accepted one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen so exactly half of the dresses i sent in they accepted and none of them I got more than I think like $2 for, or no more than $3 for sure. So the first one they accepted, I have this up on my computer so I keep looking over here, um, is a City Triangles dress and I'll put them up on the screen so you can see. This one they paid me a dollar and two cents for, so rolling in it. The next one was this In Focus dress and it got a dollar and 70 cents. I was not expecting much for these dresses. I just didn't want to list them. So um, the next was a Ronnie Nicole dress. This one I got $2.46 for. Um, next was a Candies dress. And this one I looked like you can watch your kits on the app. This one sold almost right away. Um, it was kind of funny. So Candies sold at Kohl's. I got $2.10. Then there was this DB, which is Dress Barn dress, and I got $1.89. Um, next is this Simply Vera, Vera Wang casual dress. I think this is also sold at Kohl's. Um, it, I got $2.85. Then there was this Danny and Nicole dress. I got $1.89. And then a no comment dress. I got $2.10, a New York and Company dress, and this one was a size 16, so I think that's why they accepted it. I don't know if they always accept this brand, um, but I got $1.89, a, I believe it's Saucy, S-A-U-C-I dress, I got $1.70. So this dress is called Thalia, Thalia Sodi Casual Dress. Um, this is also a plus size, I believe. I got $2.10. I thought about listing this dress, but I have the exact same one in black, and I've had it listed forever, and it has not sold. It is a small size, though. I think it's, like, an extra small, so maybe the plus size did better than the ex extra small. I don't know, but I probably could have listed these dresses myself and made some more money, but of the 32 or 33 I've listed, still none of them have sold. My sales have been kind of slow right now. So I needed to move some of this stuff out. I'm not looking to hold on to it for a really long time. Um, there's two two more dresses. This Dressberry casual dress, I got $1.51. And then um, an Avon dress, and I got $1.70 for that. So I'll put right here on the screen how much I got total just from the dresses. What really helped me is almost every item was below five dollars um even some were like below a dollar um but anyway i sent in a tajanala i don't know how to say this i'll put the word here um i sent in two bags from them one i only got three dollars and something for but the other one i got 21 dollars and uh 17 cents and then when you do partner kits i know they're changing some of this but when you did partner kits for crocs you got the amount so I got $65.60 and and then they had a 15% boost for doing the partner kit so that's how I ended up getting the $75 and my husband's excited because he wants new Crocs so um I'll put on the screen right now what I made no how much I paid which is 147 minus this 
whatever the amount is I've got from ThreadUp and that's what I still have to go to get in the green. It's not looking good. I haven't worked on this box since I sent this stuff in. I've been thrifting and I, you've probably already seen my other Helpsy box and yeah, I just have not been motivated to list these dresses, but I need to do something with them because there's still a big box sitting in my laundry room. Um, I would not recommend this box unless you are just starting out and maybe you want a lot of things to list for a cheap price. It is a lot of inventory at once and it's not a lot of great stuff. So in my experience, they do have other mystery boxes. So maybe you would want to check something like that out. But like I said, would not recommend this based on my experience so far. It's not that everything was horrible, a lot of cute things, just not really any name brand stuff. And I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think down below. I'm so glad to be done with this video particularly, and I will be making a part two, I hope. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. It's been uh, fun making this and a good learning experience, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate that.